Hello everyone, welcome back to Placement Buddies. Let me welcome you all to another episode of Let's Hear from the Experienced. And today we are going to hear from Munmun, who is going to share her interview experience of Simmons. She is from Electrical Engineering. Hi Munmun, welcome to Placement Buddies. Hello, and thank you for inviting me to your channel. Yeah, it's my pleasure, Munmun. So Munmun, uh, tell us something about yourself. Yeah, so as you as you have already said, um, so I'm Munmun, and I am doing electrical engineering in uh, from NIT Agartala. Currently, I'm in the final year of BTEC. So I have selected as a GET engineer in Siemens Technology Limited. So yes. Right. Uh, so Munmun, as you mentioned that uh, you are currently a GET in Siemens. So when did Siemens came to your campus, and what was the eligibility criteria basically? Yeah, so Siemens came to our college in the first week of October and the eligibility criteria was 60% uh, or ever in 10th, 12th and graduation. So okay. that's all. Okay. And what was the selection process? Yeah, so the selection process, it has uh, one screening test uh, and then followed by two interviews and all of them have the elimination round. Okay. Like every round was an elimination round, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, there was an online test. So can you recall what was the online test platform and what was the online test pattern basically? Uh, yeah, so um, it was like a met kind of uh, platform. Okay, if I can recall. So the it has uh, four sections, um, a general aptitude, then logical and analytical reasoning, and then verbal uh, followed by technical section. Okay, so uh, there was aptitude, verbal, logical kind of questions. So can you recall what was the test pattern basically? How many questions you had to solve in how many minutes? So it was, uh, it was, it has 25 uh, questions in each section hmm. and it was total of uh, 1 hour 20 minutes. Okay, all right. So uh, for clearing the online test, what was your preparation strategies basically? You prepared to prepare kya tha? So uh, for the online test, like it has different sections. So I have prepared general aptitude from phrase prep and India Wix. Okay. And then there was a logical section, analytical section. So it was uh, from, I referred a book, R.S. Agarwal for that. Mm. And I have, uh, yeah. So I have also prepared equally uh, following the YouTube channel, some of them. So that's how I prepared the logical section. And for verbal section, I again followed phrase prep for that. All right. Uh, so, Munmun, for the technical section, now coming coming to the technical section, electrical engineering ki kaun kaun se subjects se questions pucha gaya tha technical section mein? So, it was, uh, it was basic kind of questions were there. Hmm. So, it was generally from uh, power system um, circuits and uh, electrical, basic electrical and power, uh, power uh, electronics, power system and machines. Yeah. Okay. So, this, from this. So for clearing those questions, like uh, it can be from power systems, power electronics, ICDC machines, etc. What was your preparation strategies? Matlab, uh, tumne kaha se prepare kiye the wo subjects? So basically, I had uh, the soft copy of some books that we referred in our uh, semester exams and semester notes. So I generally uh, did one thing that I prepared short notes for that. Like uh, I prepared uh, some uh, the, some usable formulas which are generally used in every kind of uh, questions. So these uh, basic things were asked in that okay. basic things were needed. So I just prepared according to that. Okay. Uh, so Munmun, what was the uh, difficulty level of those rounds? Uh, quantitative aptitude, verbal ability, logical, and then technical. In four rounds, was difficult kaun -kaun se round the, and uh, what was your strategy about that? So uh, general aptitude was simple. Like we prepare for all other uh, questions, like all other company exams. Hmm. But the logical and analytical reasoning was a little bit twisted. I would not say it was tough, but a little bit twisted. Like if you have a good uh, knowledge about ratio and proportion, percentage, okay. and then permutation and combination, you can uh, solve those kind of questions. And it was if you just go through the question, it will take some time. Okay. So don't be panic and don't leave it. Just uh, solve one question and then jump to the other. And if you see that uh, this question is taking time, just leave it uh, as soon as you, as you can. So right. that's how. 
Yes. Right. So that was your strategy for the online test, right? So yeah, and I also had one kind of uh, strategy. I just uh, I had a uh, speed read kind of thing. So mm -hmm. if I see the big question like um, big uh, paragraphs, I do it later. Okay. So you have to ap apply some kind of uh, thing strategies uh, to go through the uh, test, it's like screening tests. Okay. So you mean. Uh, the questions which are easily approachable, take them first and Do then right, right, right. Got it. Yeah. So that uh, that is quite a nice strategy, Manmohan. So moving on, uh, after the online test, what was the further round? Was it an interview or? Yeah. So after the online test, we got selected, and then interview round was taken. There was two interview round. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So that's how it was gone. Right. So, how was the first interview round all about? Was it technical? Was it HR? How? Yeah. So, the first interview round was totally not technical. There was mixed questions, both from uh, HR and both from uh, and from technical also. So, it was basically majority in, in uh, technical, okay. and there was a few questions in HR. That's all. Okay. So, from the technical part, if you are if we are specifically talking about electrical engineering, then what are the subjects which our juniors can prepare? You know, for cracking Siemens interview. What are your suggestions about it? So, uh, actually, there was no subject-based question, and he, the interview didn't uh, give me a choice to choose any subject. Okay. So, yeah, so it was totally resume-based questions right, were right. there. Yes. So there was no technical questions in my, uh, you know, the, he didn't ask me any technical question. He only asked me about the projects that I have done. And one question was there from uh, Power Electronics. That's all. Okay. Uh, so Moon Moon, what sort of projects have you pursued, you know, and like how your interview was how much your interview was resume based? Was it totally resume based or, you know, some other type of questions also they asked? So I may say that uh, I can, uh, if, uh, you know, take uh, three parts. The interview was like three three sections were there. Mm -hmm. First, he asked me about my projects and totally based on my resume. Okay. And then he asked uh, one question from the technical part okay. and it was very easy. And then he asked something that I have, I can apply that I have studied. I can apply on the real time, right. like uh, application based. So I can figure it out like three ways. He meant like three section he has asked. All right. All right. So you mean to say, uh, resume plays a very important role in interview specifically for Siemens right so your questions were revolving around like the interviewers questions were revolving around your projects and internships only yeah actually in core the resume is very important exactly uh, so Munmun, what type of questions were asked from your projects basically if you can be more specific about it yeah so first of all they will look to to each of the projects that you have uh, done and he asked me that what is my contribution in the project they will look uh, just what you have uh, done specifically um, in a team or what is your team contribution to the project and what you know about the uh, theories about the specification he asked me about the specification and like they like this and about the internship also he asked what you have learned uh, so these kind of questions were there so yeah Okay, okay, right. And also, uh, he asked when it started, when it ended. Uh, if you done in an organization, what is this organization about? It was a okay. detail. Inter it was a detail in. Uh, he asked detail about each and everything. Okay, so like if we jot down the bullet points from your first uh, round of interview, it was a kind of uh, technical plus HR, where the technical part was mainly based on resume, right? Your projects, your internships. Now coming to projects, he wanted to know uh, key, what was your contribution, what role you have played in a team, you know, so you can say both technical part as well as the team management part. They wanted to know, right? Yeah. Okay. So moving on, Munmun, uh, what was the second round all about? So the second round is about the HR questions are only there, no technical questions. Uh, so this uh, some HR questions like what you know about the company. So these kind of questions were there. Uh, do you know about Siemens? 
so what will be your job role so these kind of questions are there okay uh, so yeah i have observed ki uh, like a lot of company wants to know if the candidate who is appearing for the interview is really familiar with their company or not but uh, that is a major mistake which our juniors do that they don't research about the company much before going into an interview so what do you think what is the importance of researching about a company you know like before entering into its interview yeah you must research about the company and you must research if the company is coming like uh, for siemens it is a vast company it has all the domains right. so i had to first of all figure it out like which domain is going to come right so i in core um, i have gone through like siemens energy siemens mobility i have read all of the things and then just i prepared it and i said it according to that because it it's a kind of uh, they also uh, kind of relay that the in candidate will know right. that what they actually do so uh, you know you have to go through the company there the company uh, profile is always there in google you search it and go through the things that they are doing go through the projects that they are, they are taking it will always give you a positive points on each round exactly so any other particular questions which you want to uh, recall from your hr round that is the second round of your interview so hr round is uh, generally if you pass the technical round the hr round is very friendly and it was not something that will uh, bother that will bother it was it, it is easy going okay. but as i mentioned they took it very seriously about the company and about the job role Mm -hmm. and other questions are like will you uh, are you willing to relocate yeah. how many members are in your family so these are general questions and not um, there was no questions like when what you see you yourself after 5 years no, no okay. such questions were there okay okay so that is uh, all about the selection process and everything uh, in uh, detail so munmun would you like to uh, recollect uh, some you know some particular memory from the siemens recruitment drive which uh, was not asked to you which I, i have not asked to you and which you want to share with our audience so first of all uh, siemens uh, siemens visited in our college uh, like in october they took the screening okay. and then after two months they take the interview so there was a long wait right. so if yeah so you have to be patient for that and second thing is you must have a strong knowledge about your core subjects like power electronics machines and power system All so right. not the, not the strong but you can say the basics you must yeah. know it so that you can uh, easily going through the interview process and you you would be confident about that too so in the hr coming to the hr part so when the hr asks the questions like are you willing to relocate just don't say yes and don't leave the answer mm -hmm. say yes and complete your sentence like giving the reason why you want to relocate yeah so uh, give it a full sentence and like this will add to your points and when they ask that what have you done in your project maybe you have done no nothing they try to drill you sometime right. but don't get less confident uh, stay is give your best and smile and give your best that's all exactly exactly uh, so munmun uh, looking back to your uh, preparation days when have you realized that you want to uh, pursue a career in core engineering uh, and how did you start your preparation back then so i am i was totally going for core because i have from the first year i have um, in the counseling period also i selected electrical engineer because i was interested in it Okay. and then um followed by second to third year then third to fourth year i was not sure about the placement but then uh, under the influence of our senior our <clears throat> classmates and you know i also followed linkedin so i got very much interested in placement season that i should sit for it and i should give it a try so that's how i became engaged and involved to all the processes preparing for placements and everything right so that's what it is yeah obviously you should because see this uh, uh, campus placements it happens only once in 
everybody's life like and this opportunity is only for the students pursuing a career in engineering so yeah that is uh, what you should give it a try obviously and i must say like uh, you have done a great job by choosing core engineering and you have cracked a company like siemens so the next question is uh, revolving around this only like why did you choose siemens what made you choose uh, siemens why siemens basically yeah so siemens is a big mnc and it has established in india in 1847 which is uh, before independence of india so it is already established in india and i can see that it has a good work culture and stability also so that is how i you know it attracted me to select siemens and i have like a dream to come to siemens and in the third year also siemens came to our college for internship but mm -hmm. you know i lose that chance and i thought that i would never be approachable to siemens again but luckily this year siemens came to our college which is a very great thing for me and for the upcoming batches also exactly okay uh, so munmun before wrapping it up any particular tips which you want to give to our juniors so yes um first of all for the electrical people i would say that uh, prepare yourself 3 uh, months before any company like uh, you have to have a good knowledge in core so you have to read some books or follow some youtube channel so you you have to read and you have to note it down and revise it to get a good grip on such uh, no knowledge and don't rush in the last day right. like don't rush before the uh, interview in the previous day just chill in the last day so that you do not get pressurized at that moment and um, this is about the technical thing that you can prepare you have to read and prepare it 3 months before this is the minimum time that i can that we can say and if you already have a grip and you just need to re review it then you can start it like one month before so that you have a good knowledge about it and you can revise it thoroughly and this is about the technical part and you must read your resume and prepare your resume Exactly. like yeah you what you have mentioned it you you answer it according to your way and you practice it like if you have done one project you have to prepare notes for that project it would be very much helpful you will not get stuck at any point so this is the thing that i would really really recommend because in code uh, in siemens actually project was asked very thoroughly right so uh, that is one and the other thing about the hr is hr questions are tricky they will ask you some tricky they will ask you in a manner that it always try to trap you in some right. way that if you have something in your back of the mind like if you don't want to join this company and you are saying that i want to join then they will ask the tricky questions hmm. so you have to answer it accordingly in the in that time so that you do not fall into their trick and you also ask answer it confidently and one of the thing that i have seen that you have to be interactive and you have a you must practice communication so that you can crack the hr round not only a good english but communication like listening to the question and then answer it accordingly what happen actually we don't listen to the question exactly. so it yeah so listening to the part is very much important then rather than saying it and when you say reframe your answers and then say it in one go okay so that is what i would give the tips about and nothing don't worry that much and it would be a good interview that's all exactly so thank you so much munmun thank you so much for joining placement buddies and uh, sharing your interview experience with our viewers we wish you all the best for your future endeavors stay safe and take care thank you so much again for inviting me and all the best uh, to all those who are preparing because uh, placement is um, going to be a long journey and so for some people it's a short one so never lose your hope just keep it on and all the best to everyone yeah thank you